what is it like to have a threesome with yourself? <laughs> awesome question. I, I was nervous about getting naked in front of myself. I'll, I'll put it that way. Did they have to find someone with a body like yours? Is that the body thing? That's what we tried to do. Yeah. Yeah, there was a few different tricks for that particular sequence. There was a few different tricks that we we pulled out for that one. But we weren't using, we didn't use the techno dolly for that sequence. It was more just some other little fun little tricks, you know, like as we, you know, there's a little piece where, um, you know, Patty is actually talking with, with Rudy and she turns her back for a second and then there's another dude back there for a moment and then when she turns back, you know, Rudy's, Rudy's there again. So there were some fun little you know, just camera shenanigans that we did, but and uh, showing off the yeah. game that that, that, that set the movie. But it was really it was uh, it was Ari 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 versus Ari. <laughs> they do say when you meet your double, you'll either have sex with them or kill them. Oh, really? And you've done both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you've done both. Yeah, I didn't know that. In was the same the episode, <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing. Yeah. Oh, the follow-up to that is the uh, Rudy killing Seth. Yeah. Tell me about the. Uh, sort of the for you the emotional part of that yeah I mean it was it, the whole process of creating all those characters was such a, whirl, a whirlwind <laughs> process it just happened and yeah I mean like I was just I was just getting to know who Seth was and, and starting to have a lot of fun and I think had Patty survived I think he might have been my favorite clone so it, it was bittersweet but like, like, I don't want to say goodbye to any of them, but like, they were probably good to speak with. I think it really, for me, I really let it build with Rudy, um, just, just to help create this, because we're introduced with Rudy, and we and he's sort of this maniacal, uh, scary guy that we see in this jail cell, and for me, it was really important to make him more than just that and, 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 and flush him out and his interaction with Seth his brother and the, the loving relationship that they had and then the, the, the mercy killing I, for me really helped sort of find Rudy in a different way and sort of motivate his motivations going forward from there I think it was kind of a game until he had to do that to his brother, and at that point, the realization of what was happening to the cast of clones became very real, and it became more serious, and I think it was, it was definitely a very a, a pivotal shift for Rudy at that point. The way that it played really showed Rudy's humanity, which we hadn't really seen before. I think that speaks a lot to John and Graham's creation and their, uh, the way that the show develops. Uh, I find that it's a very collaborative uh, spirit on the show. Uh, and he, more often than not, I would have an idea, I would come to Graham and he'd be like, don't worry, got you covered, it's, it's already there. But, for instance, I don't think we necessarily talked one way or the other how that scene was going to play out. It was just, that was how I saw it. Um, and John was, you know, like, no, 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 more like this. Or, or he was like, no, just, like, I find that yourself and the majority of the directors we get on the show are just encouraging to what we have to bring to the table. And I think that is why the show is is the way it is and why, for me, it's so appealing to be on the show is because of the collaboration. And the writers are there and they're watching and, you know, we could be, we'll be halfway through an episode and we're getting script changes day to day to day. Sometimes I would imagine based on something that was shot the day before. You yeah. can speak more to that, but yeah, just didn't want that done. <laughs> <laughs> so is that Mark giving, like, turning his back on his brothers at the end of the episode, would you say, or is it more, something different? Um, for me, you know, we were talking about not, like, learning things about, about yourself later on. Um, I didn't know last season, obviously that Mark was going to be a clone and I'm kind of glad that I didn't find out because I probably would have played him way differently. So this season 
uh, was all about rediscovering and, and piecing the story that I had of him before and fitting it into this new reality. Um, but one thing that stayed constant for me was that Mark always felt like he, 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 wherever he would have come from was not what he was always yearning for this ideal family uh, uh, scenario. Um, he found it with Hendrik, brought him in, felt this 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 eternal uh, love that he'd never had before, and fell in love with Gracie and saw his future and saw a way out of this I guess world of violence and world of chaos. And now coming into this season with the revelation that he is a clone. Uh, now we know that he's certainly trying to get away from that. Uh, and so yes, the burning of the tattoo is is just that one next step of distancing, dis distancing himself from his old life and trying to build, build the new one, the ideal one.